we're going to show you some interesting pictures of mosques that have the crescent moon. I showed some of these pictures in my last video proving that the crescent moon of Islam is a pagan Arabian, Egyptian, Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian sorry, uh, symbol. We're going to show you some of these pictures again. Here is the first picture of this mosque in Mecca, uh, this big huge tower over top of Mecca and they have the big crescent moon on top of there facing the part of it is facing upward and that's very significant too, the part of the crescent moon facing upward like that uh, very significant as we go on but you see that it has a big symbol on top uh, the moon, the crescent moon symbol this next picture, said in my last video, was pretty telling I have the sun in between the crescent moon like that very very telling uh, but again the mosque with the big crescent moon symbol facing upward in that direction like that the next picture where again you see the sun kind of in the middle of the whole crescent moon and again it's facing upward like that facing uh, upward towards the uh, sky like that and uh, most mosques have that picture like that too by the way most mosques have a crescent moon like that well guess who else has a crescent moon facing upward like that there is a pagan Mesopotamian moon god that has that exact same upward facing symbol on a tower you know very very interesting there is a Mesopotamian moon god he even has it on his little crown too he has that upward facing moon on a tower where do you think Islam got it from? They got it from pagan Arabian Mesopotamian religion. Here's another telling picture. It's of, again, you see the crescent moon symbol and they're facing upward like that. See, I told you it's significant that it's facing upward like that. And then you have Allah sitting on the chair and you have the three daughters giving basically alms to him, giving homage to him, basically. Because yes, Allah does have, in fact, three daughters. Uh, because Allah was worshipped by the pagan Arabians long before Islam came on the scene.